Welcome to Strategy Battle Chemist and our GHL YouTube video. You're here with your host, GHL Damien, and this is my hobby vlog. I think it's hobby vlog number four. Uh, it's very late on Monday evening, and I'm hoping I might be able to get this up uh, within the next couple of hours and actually get it in on time, which will be quite exciting. Um, so, in remarkable news for me, I've actually managed to do what I planned to do, and I have finished my Grim Hammers. Yep, all six of them are now completed. So, I had a fairly productive um, little block of time last week for a few evenings, a couple of evenings, didn't get much done at the weekend, and I've just glued the grass down now and managed to get them finished. So I'm really pleased with these guys, so um, let's have a little look. Again, they're kind of um, they're a step up from my um, rank troops that I painted for my older armies. I'm trying to put a bit more time into these as I've kind of talked you through the Warriors of Erebor in the past. I think they're looking quite nice and I'm pretty pleased with them. Um, I was hoping potentially to have moved on to Thwart or Thrain as well. I didn't quite get there, but for me, I don't get a lot of painting time, and so to get this uh, project done this week has been um, a bonus for me. So I'm pleased with this. And this completes uh, 24 kind of dwarfs. Uh, I've got six Grimhammers, six with axe, and six warrior, converted Warriors Variable with axe and shield, and 12 converted Warriors Variable with spear and shield. And they're going to be led by the classic heroes that I've been talking about uh, in the past with think people like Thor and Thrain. So these guys are done. I do have another box of Grimhammers that I'm going to convert up at some point. Um, hopefully relatively soon. And um, My full 1000 point army has 36 in it. So I will be convert, making another 3 Grimhammers, another 3 of Axe and Shield, and another 6 with Spear and Shield. But um, I'm going to have a bit of a break now to move on to some of the heroes. So I'm really chuffed to got these guys done. Um, I'm looking forward to using them uh, in a few games and a few scenarios that I've got kind of planned coming up in the in near future and these will absolutely categorically be in my first tournament army that I go to where I'm not competing for the league. So um, whenever that may be, if I get some good results in the next couple of tournaments it might be in December, if not it will be in January. But the first tournament where the result really doesn't matter, I'm going to be bringing a big army of Thor along and I really can't wait. So I'm quite pleased with how these turned up. I did get a tiny amount of time to start work on Thrain, uh, as you can see, and that pretty much amounted to putting a couple of different reds and browns onto him as some base coats. Uh, so he's still got an awfully long way to go yet. But he is what I'm working on next. Um, as for what exactly next is, I might have some time Wednesday and Thursday evening this week to do some painting. Uh, I'm busy tomorrow night. And then I'm off to Desolation of Stockport on Friday. So the uh, the odds of my next blog being incredibly detailed are quite slim. Hopefully I'll manage to, over Wednesday and Thursday night, put a bit of time into Thrain and um, have him just slightly further down the production line. But I wouldn't expect too much. Um, my painting's probably going to slow down again, if that's possible, in the next couple of weeks. Because terms just kicked off. For anyone who doesn't know, I'm a lecturer and uh, it's insanely busy at work at the moment. All these students came back and they're demanding to be taught stuff. It's really, really annoying. Um, so yeah, it's uh, unfortunately having a bit of an impact on my hobby time. But I am very excited, of course, because this week uh, it is Desolation Stockport. So on Friday uh, we'll be beginning the long drive north and uh, meeting up for a weekend of wargaming fun. And uh, it should be a great weekend. Got some exciting announcements to make, as you may have gathered from the various teaser trailers that you've seen about. And um, yeah, so looking forward to kind of seeing uh, a lot of old faces, a lot of new faces there, and um, getting some good games in. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. That was the completion of my Grim Hammers, which I'm really happy with, and I think these models are absolutely awesome. So as ever, don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. Support your hobby and happy strategy battle game. See you at Stockport.